I think that there has been a way of looking at God's will that says, you know, are you in the center of God's will? Well, you know, in this, this new age, that's tricky because somebody's going to start subdividing the center, you know, are you in the center of the center? How do you know if you're in the center of the center of the center? I, I think it's not helpful to talk like that. You know, to be in the center of God's will to me is just complicating the process. I think the question is, do you have your eyes on God? When I tell people all the time, they say, I, I just want to make sure that I end up in the right place, Louie. That's all that matters to me. I just want to end up in the right place. And I tell them, I say, well, keep your eyes on God. The scripture says he will guide us with his eye upon us. I think part of that is maybe a connection for us to make sure we're locking eyes with the, with the, the one who's leading us. And I don't know if you can see what I'm saying here, but if you lock your eyes on me and you never take your eyes off me, I can take you anywhere I want to and you won't have a clue how you got there. But all of a sudden you'll look around an hour from now and go, wow, how did we get here? I just kept my eyes on you. And people are, they're like, is it that? Is it that? Is it that? And I say, no, it's him. It's you keeping your eyes on him, not taking your eyes off him, not saying, God, I need you to point the way to A or point the way to B or point the way to C, but God, I'm just going to keep my eyes on you. When I do that, I end up, and I know this sounds a little mysterious and you can't quantify it and you can't package it and sell it, but when I just start saying to God, I'm not going to ask you so much to point, I'm just going to keep my eyes on you, that in a day or a week or a month, I look up and realize that God has moved to one of those options and I'm not really sure how I got there, all of a sudden I just realized that's where my heart was and that's where my, my affections were and that's where my, my energy stream seemed to be running and I don't know how I got there. You know, I think that the key thing is, is that we, we make sure we're obeying the Word of God and that we make sure we're on board with the will of God. And, and those kind of give us these parameters. And I think within that, we just go. And we don't have this hang up of, oh, I might make the wrong choice. How can you make the wrong choice is my question, if in your heart what you really, really want to do is honor God.